Hey guys and gals, welcome to K6 Outdoors. My name's Kyle. Fortunately, I had a you know this driveway that I poured last year. You guys probably saw videos of that. If not, catch up in the uh, videos in the library here. But long story short, there's two things that concrete does: it gets hard and it cracks. And hopefully, it cracks inside of your control joints, which they cut in the driveway. I don't know exactly what happened here, whether it be from the concrete curing. We did have some. Uh, unplanned traffic on it before it was fully cured. Um, so anyways, I wanted to show you guys what we have here in the driveway and something I found online that people say works really well and we're going to try it out ourselves. So anyway, you'll see here, this is our control joint that was cut and well this is where it cracked. Regardless of what caused the crack, I want to show you guys today, it's not that large, but what I want to do is keep it from getting worse and fill it in so water doesn't get down in there. So I've never been a very big fan of the liquid crack filler. And it seems to never work quite right. It doesn't really match the concrete around it and it's hard to fill in small cracks. So I hopped online to Amazon and searched concrete crack filler. And this is what came up. It's called Con Sand Trait. I will put links down below, affiliate links for this product. So if you guys do buy this, I'll get a little commission off of it. It's no expense to you guys. But anyways, long story short, this is a concrete joint and crack filler. It is a, uh, it's applied dry. You add water to it and then let it dry. Uh, this is a, three pound container of it, patent pending. And you can see basically it's a, a sand mixture of stuff inside. It does come in different colors from brown, gray, white, and tan. Uh, this is the gray for the gray concrete we're using here. It says to apply, the area to be filled must be clean and dry. You cut the tip of the bottle to the desired size of the crack for filling. And then you fill the joint with the con sand trait dry crack filler and level it off with a stiff brush. Across the crack is how you want to sweep it, not against it because it's going to sweep it out. So first and after that, once you guys got the crack filled in, you, you want to sweep away the excess. And then I've got this to mist it with water, but you mist it with water and let it set up and it will cure in place and be virtually, you know, unrecognizable. Now it might be a little easier to see in my fresh concrete because it's not quite a year old yet. And depending upon how large the crack is, you'll do that step a few times just to fill it in to where it's flat and level and make it basically unnoticeable. Again, the cosmetic part of it is whatever. The idea is I want to keep water from getting down in that crack and making it worse. So anyways, we're going to go out there. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use and try it out ourselves and, and go from there and see what the before and after photos look like. Now, I am going to try to do this as much of this as I can in real time, but I also want to respect your guys' time. But uh, what I'm going to start off doing here is just kind of coming down the crack with the screwdriver just to break off any of the edges to get it nice and solid. Again, this is all cosmetic and I'm just trying to keep it from getting worse. All right, we got that kind of worked out. We're gonna just take a quick brush across it here with a bigger brush. And then we're gonna take this more stiff brush, nylon brush, just kind of get down there in the cracks to get everything out. Now we're gonna take this sand and fill it in. This is really easy to do. It literally is almost like sand.
you get the idea. So now we're gonna work that down on the joint. Just gonna brush across this, you know, make sure we don't get down. Any of the, I'm just use my finger to to help, you know, fill it in here. Probably you should use gloves if you're sense your hands skin is sensitive. here so you get the idea how it'll look when you've got it just filled in with the powder brush off any excess around it but I can tell you already standing back here once that dries you probably are barely gonna be able to see it so I use this little pump sprayer just fill with water pump her up we want it on a fine mist like that and we're just gonna go over this Making sure you get it all wet. So you get the idea. You don't want to get it too wet, you'll start seeing some white foam, and that means you've put too much water on it. And uh, so yeah, you're seeing some of these deeper spots, you may have to come back up and touch again, like, like I said, the instructions a few more times. It's looking pretty good. Let's check back in a little bit here when it's all dried and uh, see how it looks. All right, so let's take a quick gander and see what we have here now that it's dried. So here's the first look at it. On this side here is the other part of it that I filled in. You know, obviously you can tell I've been brushing at, trying to clean it away, my shadow out of the way. The camera definitely makes it look worse than it is in person. It is definitely more of a brownish tinge, um, but it, it filled the crack in extremely well, even the very small hairline one that was there. Um, again, I'll put a picture here on the screen for a side by side of what it looked like. But you know, I might go through here again when it talks about the deeper cracks, doing it more than once. But you can see this is that hardened area. You can see how hard that gets. You wouldn't even know it's the same concrete next to it. So this stuff gets really hard and it does a good job filling in the cracks. And it, you know, it may look brownish now, but you can see how dirty the rest of this is over here. Um, and that's kind of where I had to clean it up and brush it up. So safe to say as the driveway gets some more elements on it and some, you know, dirt, you're not even gonna probably know it's there. Again, the idea here is to help stop getting water and debris down there so it doesn't break and make it worse because it's a cosmetic flaw more than anything. So, and just to show you what I mean by looking brown, this is the old concrete here on the right. This is the new concrete on the left. So you can see how much more brown that is. And if you, you know, let it age and get a little bit more weather on it, you're probably not even gonna notice a difference. Just something to keep in mind, I'll show you up here where I did use some liquid stuff in the past. And it, uh, it looks really bad. It's gray and, it didn't even really fill in the crack that well, even though I made it bigger. Just want to show you guys a quick way to do that and let you know how a product I'd found. I didn't even know this stuff even existed. And um, the good news is this is made in the U.S. It's patent pending. And I really like the system. Put it on there dry, dust it in the cracks and smooth it off. Just mist it down with a little bit of water and come back and it's, it's dried and hard. So we'll watch over here over the next six months, year, two years, see how it works and give you guys some more feedback and detail in the future. So that is how simple and easy it is to use the concentrate crack filler. Again, I have no sponsorship for this, no affiliation with this company, just something I found on the Amazon site. But I will tell you, I mean, use gloves. You saw me just moving this stuff around there by hand. It can cause some skin irritation. I mean, it says around here, like, like anything else can cause skin and eye irritation. Wear gloves to be safe. It does just say use a, a stiff bristle brush, but I kind of like the, you know, the smoothing out by hand and then dust the excess away with the brush. But um, my initial impressions of this stuff is it works really well. I've used some of the liquid stuff in the past and it's just hard to get to flow in the right spot. The color never matches right and it looks fake. This stuff looks like hardened sand. It's the best way I can explain it. And yes, you can notice on that color difference, like I mentioned, 
It is slightly different. It's probably just a tinge more brownish colored. But when you compare it to the other concrete that is older, it's five years old, it looks much similar to that in that regard. So I could say, you know, as this, this, this new concrete gets older, ages, you know, and gets some more um, elements, you know, Mother Nature doing stuff to it, you probably won't even be able to see it there. But what I will tell you is that stuff is hard. Like I showed you, scraping it there with the screwdriver, it's hard. And uh, it was set up really quick. Um, what I just showed you is about six hours ago. It was pretty hard actually, you know, just a couple hours after, but that's about six hours ago I did that. And um, yeah, anyways, that's the results. I'll let you guys know more in the, in the future here how it holds up. I can't give you any, any longevity durability testing at this point because, well, I just put it on. But um, my initial impressions are that it's worth the money. And I'll put a link down below here at Amazon. Again, they are affiliate links. So if you guys buy something, I do get a little commission to it, but it's of no expense to you guys. Um, hope you guys found this informative and helpful. I wanted to find something different. It's nice. You can apply this dry, add a little water to it, and then, well, you know, you let it dry and it's done. So um, check it out yourself. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, if you guys have used this before or what your thoughts are after you bought it and used it, and, uh, and go from there. So if you guys found this video informative and helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. That's fine, but give me some feedback on how I can make this stuff better for you all. And if you're not a part of the YouTube family, I would encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button. Anyways, enough of that. I'll give you guys an update here in a, you know, six months from now, I'll let you know how it's holding up, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for stopping into K6 Outdoors, guys. I can't emphasize enough. Without you all, this channel wouldn't exist. And I really like sharing this information with you all and, and uh, learning along the way. So take care of yourself. Take care of one another in this crazy world, and uh, we'll catch you next time.